Hi, today we're going to talk about ecology. Ecology is the study of in the interactions between living things and non-living things. And when we say non-living things, it means our environment. So ecology studies our relationship between us, living things, and our non-living environment. We're going to be introducing a few words in this study of ecology first. We're going to start with the uh, population. A population consists of a group of organisms of the same species. So when we talk about population, we could say, for example, a population of humans in a city or maybe a population of ants in a tree or maybe a garden. Population can be of any living thing, plants or animals included. Next, we shall introduce the word community. Community is made up of different populations of plants and animals living together in a particular habitat. So what is a habitat? A habitat is the place where living things live in. You could think of it as a home. A community is uh, made up of all the plants and all the animals living within the habitat. Okay, and then finally, let's talk about a word called ecosystem. So what's an ecosystem? An ecosystem consists of different communities of living organisms in a habitat interacting with one another and with their non-living environment. Okay. Now, let's just briefly discuss a few different types of habitats. In general, habitats serve the function of a place to live in, and also it provides food, it provides protection. There are many different kinds of habitats in this world. Common ones we could think of are desert, rivers, grassland, rainforest there are actually a lot more which are not shown here for example you could have tundras steps there are a lot of other ecosystems in this world also there could be very small ecosystems within very small places housing very small organisms for example if we take a look at a broken piece of tree, a trunk that has fallen on the ground, maybe you can find a whole host of living things living within that decaying piece of tree trunk. Okay. Right. Every habitat has its own environment. The environment is made of factors classified under both physical, that's also called the abiotic, and also the biotic, the living things. So what do we mean when we say physical factors? The physical factors are things like light, temperature, water, minerals, the pH of water, oxygen levels in the water or in the air. These are all things that are necessary for different forms of life to survive. They are not living factors. That's why we call them physical factors or abiotic factors. Okay. Depending on the habitat that these plants or animals live in, they may have adaptations to where they survive. But whatever adaptation they may have, all living things in any habitat generally can be classified into certain groups based on how they survive, what they eat or consume, or whether they can make their own food. You've probably heard of these terms before. You've probably heard of the term herbivore, carnivore, omnivores and scavengers. So here I would like to remind or revise this a little. Herbivores are animals that feed on plants. Carnivores are animals that feed on other animals. 
Omnivores are animals that feed on both plants and animals as part of their normal diet. And we have scavengers. Scavengers are animals that feed on dead organic matter, decaying matter. In addition to these four words, these four categories, we can also use some other terms when we talk about a food chain or food web. 